Welcome to Action 10 News at 5. I'm Aran Hammy. In March, registration for short-term rentals on Padre Island and Flower Bluff became law. Now the city and the advisory group helping to make those laws has new recommendations for phase two of STRs. And that argument is valid from those full-time residents on the island. I wouldn't want to live next to a party house. Robert Suggs is a member of the STR stakeholder advisory group to the city. He also operates his own STR adjacent to his home in Lamar Park. The latest recommendation brought to city council on STR ordinances is to ban all STRs in single family residences on Padre Island, but they would be allowed throughout the rest of the city. It comes down to the complaints of too many parties at the Padre Island rentals. Another advisory group member says it brings a lot of noise late at night, too many cars blocking driveways and a safety concern. Does that need to be controlled? Yes, because, you know, we don't want, you know, wild parties interfering with a full-time residence enjoyment. But I think there can be a program set up where more responsibility and expectation is placed upon the host. Another recommendation was limiting a certain type of STRs per residential block. Sugg says the difference has been that all STR nuisances are happening on the island. There hasn't been uh, issue in the rest of the city. There haven't been nuisance short-term rentals. We've been operating smoothly and successfully. Advisory group member Ruby Contu has advocated for less restrictions. I think they should allow us to do whatever we want to do with it. Besides, I mean, within reason, we're not having you know, savers, cultists, services. City staff plan to continue working closely with the stakeholders group before creating a final ordinance draft. The city is expected to post a rough draft of this ordinance online later this week. Reporting in Corpus Christi, Ron Hammy, Action 10 News.